It started out as a joke. Um, every year, Clemson Athletics sends out a email saying, hey, we're holding football walk-ons. Um, and I'm like, I joke to my friends, yo, I should try out, put me in Dabo and all this. And so this year I thought, honestly, why not? Why not actually try out? So I actually went through with it, which is pretty amazing. My name is Emily Poteet. I'm a senior environmental and natural resources major with a concentration in conservation bio. I was a bridge student originally, so I went to Tri-County for a year, but I bridged into Clemson. I played soccer in high school. Usually whenever I was defending, I would just punt the ball away. Like I have a strong right leg, so <laughs> I thought those would transfer over well. I went out to the Pendleton uh, Veterans Park and I started kicking, I started practicing by myself. I never really had anybody to practice with, so I started practicing by myself. I was sort of prepared, but like I said, I did not have anybody to practice with, so I wasn't really prepared for someone snapping and then me catching the ball and punching after that. So I got nailed in the face and the throat <laughs> during tryouts. <laughs> um, Coach Spires, he asked me if I was okay. I was like, yeah, I'm okay. I played soccer in high school, so he was like, oh, so you're tough. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I took it well, so I mean, I was laughing the whole time. I, I, it didn't really hurt me. <laughs> For tryouts, we had to do free punting, we had to do punting under pressure, and I believe that was it. Um, we did our warm-up drills, as I did with the men. Um, I did my free punting and, of course, the long snapper. <laughs> they record hang time and all that. They record how fast you react to the snapper and all this. So I was re being recorded on that. Did you hit the roof at all? I was close. Really? Close, yeah. They told us to go for the roof. That's awesome. I wanted to go, go in with an open mind because I know there's pe plenty of people better than me. Um, so I went in open mind. If I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. There were plenty of hunters trying out. Versus them, I mean, I would put myself around, some of them were above average, they were pretty good. And then I put myself at like average. I mean, I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst, I feel like. Overall, I think um, I made a good impression. Um, while I was the only female there, I do believe they treated me as like equal. They held me to the same standards as the men. Um, they also, treated me like the same way. They did the same exact drills with me and stuff like that. I think they're full right now. And he said there's gonna, probably gonna be a few men dropping out during the summer and the fall. So keep trying out, just wait and see, come out back in the fall if that's something somebody wants to do. So I guess I have an okay chance of making it. Um, I'm not sure though, we'll see. <laughs> I had a good time. I really had a good time doing it. Um, I mean, it's kind of like what I expected, but everything that you honestly expect is not going to be the way that it actually happens. I didn't really get any blowback um, from anything. I got nothing but positive support and enthusiasm from everybody. And they almost seemed to enjoy that I was out there trying out. So, I mean, that's, that put it as a really positive experience in my book. It is definitely a rewarding experience to see how much support is built back on you, which is amazing, to say the least. After graduation, I want to do something in conservation. Um, it's always been a passion of mine to do something with conservation and sustainability. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I have a year to figure that out. <laughs> Try it again, possibly, if they let me. <laughs>